Hello everyone, this is Tara from The Sticker Garden. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be going over this gorgeous Two Little Bees collection entitled Autumn Breeze. This is the first collection that Maria, the shop owner, has released since coming back from maternity leave and I am really excited to show you. She has added on some new add-on pages that are absolutely stunning. So let's just jump right on in. Let's start by going over the four main pages of the collection. I'm gonna push the add-ons off to the side. Maria does package her orders with this really pretty paper doily. So this is the stunning Autumn Breeze collection. It is foiled in rose gold foiling. Maria's foiling, um, her rose gold is that coppery rose gold, which I personally is my favorite. You have your nine full boxes here in this absolutely stunning double box scene. I love it. I wish my backyard looked like this. So like, how cute is that fireplace? So um, the foiling elements, you have the house um, that is foiled, um, the, like the outline of the house is foiled. Let's see if I can catch it on the camera here. There we go. Then you have some foiled leaves around the patio set a lantern and then the flame and the fireplace is foiled which is so pretty you have your fashion girl here with an umbrella when you do order this collection you have an option of a light skin toned fashion girl or a dark skinned fashion girl the next box here is a floral design with foiled leaves the branches and some of the floral um, inside the florals are Foiled. The quote box in the middle says fall bucket list, drink pumpkin spice, which yes, pumpkin spice everything. Okay, guys, <laughs> I am that basic and <laughs> judge away. <laughs> um, light fall candles, go apple picking, visit a pumpkin patch, bake apple pie and snuggle by a fire. That's so cute. You have your fashion flat lay here with the um, signature Two Little Bees bow on the sweater. And you have a foil leaf element right there. And that chandelier, oh my goodness. Like I wish my house just looked like this. That chandelier is absolutely stunning. And I'm pretty sure Sadie Stickers came out with a $2 Tuesday that had chandeliers. Um, which would be really pretty to pull in if you had purchased that. So the chandelier is foiled here, and then you have um, the foiled pillows. You have a really pretty leaf blowing foiled element on this box with the butterfly and the leaves. This box here, the sign says fresh brewed pumpkin spice latte served daily. Yes, <laughs> a foiled pumpkin. And then your final box says hello autumn. I really like this green, this light green tone with the blue. The colors together are just so beautiful. And then on the bottom here, you have this leaf blowing design. And this is actually like a full washi strip. Really, really like pulling these into my weekly spreads. So, so pretty. So that is the first page. The second page here, you have your foiled headers, you have your floral headers, and then your line divide, divider headers. And what's very unique to Two Little Bees is her floral headers. Um, the floral design is actually individually on each header. Really pretty. And then you have some confetti foiling over the florals. You have your Monday through Sunday box, your habit trackers. This design right here, it's almost like a washi strip. And you have your foiled leaf in a foiled pumpkin. Really pretty. You have some deco elements, um, some watercolor swatches, your bow checklist here. And then up top, I really appreciate that Maria maximizes the full 
um, space on the page. She designed some leaf clusters and then these are flags with the florals and then this is the design of the house. Like the outside scene there. So that is the stunning second page. This is your third page. You have some more flags up in the corner here, some fancy boxes with some floral deco. Um, I absolutely love these clipboards. They are my favorite to pull into my weekly spreads. Some icons, these are the midi boxes, so they're not gonna take up the full width of the column. You have some half box boxes here with some deco elements printed on them. And then as you go down the page, you have your half boxes and your quarter boxes. The fourth page, you have your Monday through Sunday day covers. They are contoured cut around the brush stroke. You also have a this week header, which I absolutely love to use. You have a clipboard designed. The uh, clip itself is foiled along with a foiled pumpkin. This is the height and width of a full box. And then you have another washi strip that has that blowing leaf design. This bottom washi is absolutely beautiful. This is the first time that Maria has included contoured cut florals in a, in a kit that's actually a part of the base kit and not an add-on. I really like that. And these are really pretty. She incorporated her foiled bows into the uh, florals. And then the thinner strip of washi is this really gorgeous blowing leaf design. And here's what it looks like with the full boxes. So usually what I do with this contoured cut floral washi is I will pull this in um, above, like, so at the top of the page, and then I'll put my day covers underneath. But this is so pretty. I think I'm actually going to do it this way, like how it's intended. So I'll put the florals first, and then I'll put the blowing leaf strip underneath. That is so pretty. The browns and the florals go so well with this like green teal color. So beautiful. So that is the base kit. It is four pages, three of which is foiled. And now let's go on to the add-ons. With the release of Autumn Breeze, Maria also designed two additional add-ons to go with the collection. This first page is a washi strip page. You have five designs here. The first design is this beautiful contoured cut floral washi, very similar to the washi that's in the base kit. And then you have two strips of floral washi and it is cut straight across. You have a washi strip that has the deco from the collection. And then the final design here is um, a repeating stamp. And then you have your two skin tones. So you have the light skin tone and then the dark skin tone. And then this, it's not cut straight across, but it's very, very lightly scalloped. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up on it. It's like very, very dainty scalloped. I have my Sadie stickers planner here and I just want to show you so let's so it looks like yeah so it is the length of two full boxes each strip or no a little bit more than two full boxes. The second add-on sheet that is new to the shop is this absolutely stunning large floral deco sheet. You get various bouquets, some individual floral elements. This page is absolutely beautiful and I'm so excited to pull this into my weekly spread. I love having different size elements. I think it just really brings something unique and different to a spread. And these florals are so pretty. I love the wildflowers. So that 
Uh, those are the two new add-ons. Um, this is the floral add-on sheet. This is not new to the shop, but um, obviously to this collection, the florals are new. You have some individual butterflies, some individual, individual floral elements, which I really appreciate, and then different bouquets. This is the deco add-on. You have your two fashion girls with the different skin tones, the butterflies, some leaves, this Kate Spade journal here up in the corner, a backpack with a little leaf design, a pumpkin spice candle, the umbrella, and this is a pumpkin, but it almost looks like it's a knitted pumpkin. Like it, the pumpkin has the knit texture. A stack of blankets, the sign from the kit that says fresh brewed pumpkin spice latte served daily, some pumpkin coffee, a coffee cup with the sweater band around it, um, a leaf cluster, and then a, it, those look like Cinnabons to me. I just got hungry looking at that. <laughs> so that is the deco add-on. Here is the functional add-on. You have your scallop labels here on the bottom, some midi boxes with the floral design. You have a floral trim, so you get two, four, six, eight, and those are contour cut with the straight edge on the bottom. Your scallop circle, circle some decorative boxes, your half scallops. The window arches, well, I call them window arches, but I think they're just arches, but I always think of windows when I see them. <laughs> um, your scallop boxes, the Polaroid design with some florals, and then you have some little florals here up in the corner. I was watching a plan with me, no, not a plan with me, a haul by Lauren from Plan Motion Plans, and she actually pulls these in to, um, decorate the boxes because they are a very good size to pull in like there it's almost the same height as the box which I just thought was genius I would have never thought to pull those in um, specifically for the boxes of course you don't have to use them that way but the sizing of the florals in the corner here do work really well for the sizing of the boxes so that is the functional page this is the journaling kit add-on, and you, um, it's her journaling kit is two pages, excuse me. So on the first page here, you have two strips of washi, and I have actually, I just used a two little beads uh, collection that I pulled this in for my bottom washi. So it does, um, these strips do go across the whole page of a seven by nine planner. Your full box here is that fall bucket list. Um, same quote as the collection itself. You have some circles that are the colorway of the kit or the collection rather. This torn pages sticker, which I love. I love the torn pages stickers. So pretty. Some deco here, a script that says, hello autumn circles with the uh, floral clip art and a butterfly, some torn washi strips, um, another watercolor swatch, really pretty. I love that tan color. A window arch, that's what I'm going to call them, a window arch. <laughs> the stamp scene here and it's the scene of the fireplace and again it's not cut straight across it's like that very dainty scalloped cut so your torn pages some arrows this is the second page of the journaling kit and it is absolutely stunning this has got to be my favorite page it is so I mean I just love all the elements on it and it's so pretty um, she does include these larger florals here with some individual deco pieces. 
you have your corner torn pages stickers, which I love, love pulling in the torn page stickers. Um, I love how Maria includes these larger torn paper elements. They're really, they're just stunning. They're so pretty. And I love how oversized they are. For a weekly spread, when it goes over the traditional width of a column, I love that. So pretty. And then you have the smaller torn washi or the torn pages. This box right here, this Polaroid, is another element I absolutely love to pull into my weekly spreads. It's like almost like meant to be a Polaroid, but it is longer than the traditional full box. So it's longer than um, 1.9, which I love. And then you have your note page sticker right here. Like it's meant to look like it's a torn page. You have a lot of add-ons to choose from with the Autumn Breeze collection. You have your floral sheet, the deco sheet, the new washi strip sheet, the large floral add-on, the functional, the washi trims and shape sheet, and then the function, uh, excuse me, the journaling add-on. So you have lots and lots of add-ons to choose from with the Autumn Breeze collection. And then again, here is another look at the four page base kit. Absolutely stunning. This collection is still available on her website. I will put the link below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this collection and whether or not you have picked it up yet. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate all the likes and comments and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.